Hello Aquarius, welcome to your mid-month September reading. Thank you for joining me. Doing something a little bit different this month for the mid-months. Going to switch it up a little. I'm still going to be doing my regular in-depth readings for the, uh, the main portion of the month, but for mid-months I'm going to split it into two. I'm going to do a, a general reading here on YouTube and I'm going to do the love and relationships portion and that will be on my Vimeo channel. So you can click on the link below in the descriptions box and that will take you to the love and relationships reading for the mid-month of September. So please join me there. But first let's have a look at your general reading here. Aquarius, let's pull out some oracles from the Psychic Heart Tarot. You have the card of Embrace. Now that's equivalent to the World card. It speaks about completion. Completing out a cycle so a new one can begin. I'm also going to get one from the Oracle of Shadows and Light. I have three witchy sisters, the power of three. So it does involve three people. So let's see where this goes. I'm going to do a, a nine card spread here. I've already meditated on your energies here, Aquarius. So I'm going to, to cut the cards and <clears throat> let's concentrate on your energy for the mid-month through the end of September 2018 for Aquarius. Everything will radiate from out from the center of the reading. So we'll see what your overall energy is here for this period in time. So Aquarius, you've got the, the two of wands in reverse. So you, you, you're making a choice between two things, but, but you're undecided. I feel that there is it involves two people because we have this uh, power of three card a lot of indecision around this you're undecided about what is the, the best option for you you're trying to to weigh out the pros and cons here Aquarius so let's turn over some other cards now with that ace of swords you, you want to get that clarity before you make a decision you want to make a logical decision to I feel that you're trying to use your higher intellect uh, when you make the choice or at least you want to now you have the, the Queen of Swords in reverse so it may be an air sign I uh, this could signify you as well if not then it's someone else in you around you it could be one of these choices that could be a another uh, Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra. It could be male or female because this is a general reading. But uh, you're trying to make a, a choice here, a decision, getting clarity and it involves around this person. There, there, there seems to be disappointment, sadness when it comes to the end of a, uh, I pick it up as a, uh, a partnership. <clears throat> now let's have a look we've got the temperance card and the four of swords in reverse so you, you do you do want to get that peace back and I feel that that's what you're trying to get clarity for you you want to be have that sense of contentment feel at, at peace a balance within your life there may have been something that you're trying to heal from and I do get the world card as needing closure needing to complete something out so it may be that you've had to take some time out here to heal but with this card it does speak about slow recovery now with the death card and the Hierophant, okay. So some pretty major choices here. Is, is this, this choice doesn't involve a major life decision, I feel. With that death card, th there may be a need to get clarity over the an ending, something that has ended. Now with that Hierophant, I, I, down here, I, I get this as possibly in, involving 
a traditional arrangement it, it could be a commitment a marriage or something that was like a marriage a long-term partnership it could also involve a, a Taurus or a Scorpio as well but it doesn't have to be I feel more it's about the the qualities of these these cards and this is a card of Sagittarius so it may involve any one of those signs now you have the ace of cups in reverse and the two of swords so you need to see things clearly to make this decision I feel that you, you want to be able to to see things the, 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 for your highest good to, to make the right choice but I, I get that it, there's some cloud of judgment here it does seem to involve a third party now with that ace of cups in reverse it's an unrequited love kind of situation so it may be a relationship that soured or didn't go the way that you thought it would because there is disappointment around this opportunity it may have been something that you thought was going to to be very good for you Aquarius but it hasn't worked out and, and there has been an ending to this I feel with that death card but for you you're still trying to get some some clarity because I, I get that you're confused when it comes to making a life choice let's get a couple of clarifiers for this one okay we've got the four of pentacles in reverse so you, you, there needs to be a letting go of something a surrender there seems to have been an ending to a relationship but I feel that it, it's something that this opportunity was something that you valued at one point perhaps still do and, and that's why there's this indecision with the lovers card it does involve uh, I feel a, a third party situation I feel this is the third party it may even be a, a Gemini potentially but there needs to be release release around this person because it's an unrequited love I, I get it as a, a love affair that hasn't worked out the way that you thought it would let's get a clarifier the ace of Pentacles so there is an opportunity around you to get to get that balance security something grounded stable but that that's the other choice that I feel that you have but but the choice you know it, it's really between holding on to something that is not not real because it, it's a, a situation where there's not enough love to for this relationship to work with this air sign or to hold on to something that you have around you that is stable and secure so it, it's really whenever you get presented with an ace it's what are you going to do with it because the opportunity is there Aquarius for that traditional arrangement so why are you being indecisive about it now we have the hanged man so you're feeling stuck you know you need to make a change but you're not making a change you you're keeping yourself in this indecisive stage where you're not making a decision one way or the other but I get that the other decision it, it, it's 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 not really there because the, 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 this ace of cups is in the reverse the opportunity is no longer there with this person I get it as a third party <clears throat> so you need to surrender something here so why are you not surrendering it there needs to be a sacrifice made of what is no longer serving you what, what is holding you back there needs to be a change now with the, the knight of swords there you may want to, to rush in here and, and, and take some kind of hasty action to bring about this, this peace this balance back into your life it seems to involve getting clarity yeah, and the world in reverse so it's something that you feel is unfinished something that you didn't get closure on Aquarius 
and that's what this is all about it seems to be getting closure over a third party getting that clarity over why something has failed something hasn't worked out something that you may have gone towards with a with a sense of things were, were, were the was the right thing to do is what I get but the it was kind of a, a one-sided situation that there, there wasn't enough love from the the third party here is what I'm getting and there has been a letting go a an end to something that you valued here Aquarius and now it seems to be all about you making a major life decision but first you need to get clarity this on this closure around this third party but there is some there is a traditional arrangement that that is around you that offers security stability and this is what you're making or trying to, to make a choice over so I'm going to leave the, the reading here, the general reading. Lots to clarify in the uh, love and relationship spread, so I hope that you join me there. The link is below in the descriptions box, so uh, uh, please join me on my Vimeo channel. I'll be doing a 30-minute love and relationship spread on your um, love life, Aquarius. So uh, I will speak to you soon there. If not, then I wish you all the best, and uh, thank you for joining me. Bye for now.